Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to explore a fun and engaging approach to evaluating organizational processes, determining the scope for risk management, and establishing a successful risk management process. The process of establishing a risk management process involves five main steps. Let's take a closer look at each step. Step 1, Evaluate Organizational Processes, Procedures, and Requirements. The first step in establishing a risk management process is to take a closer look at your existing processes, procedures, and requirements. This involves examining how your organization operates and identifying areas where you can minimize risk and improve efficiency. To make this process more engaging, try using visualization tools such as flowcharts or diagrams to help you see the big picture. This can help you identify bottlenecks or inefficiencies in your current processes and come up with creative solutions to address them. Step 2. Determine the scope for risk management. Once you have a better understanding of your existing processes, it's time to determine the scope for your risk management process. This involves deciding which areas of your organization will be included in your risk management efforts. To make this process more fun and engaging, try using interactive tools such as voting or a quiz to help you prioritize different areas of your organization. This can help you create a clear roadmap for your risk management process and ensure that you're focusing on the areas that are most critical to your organization's success. Step 3. Review strengths and weaknesses of existing arrangements. The next step is to take a closer look at the strengths and weaknesses of your existing arrangements. This involves identifying the strengths and weaknesses of your current processes, procedures, and requirements, and determining what changes need to be made to improve your risk management efforts. To make this process more engaging, try involving your team in a group brainstorming session. This can help you generate more ideas and get everyone on board with your risk management plan. Step 4. Document critical success factors, goals, and objectives. Once you have identified the strengths and weaknesses of your existing arrangements, it's time to document the critical success factors, goals, and objectives for your risk management process. This involves establishing specific, measurable, and achievable objectives that will help you reach your risk management goals. To make this process more fun, try using gamification techniques, such as progress bars or scoreboards, to help you track your progress and celebrate your successes along the way. Step 5. Communicate risk management process to relevant stakeholders. The final step in establishing a risk management process is to communicate your risk management process to relevant stakeholders. This involves making sure that everyone in your organization understands the importance of risk management and how it will impact their daily operations. To make this process more engaging, try using interactive tools such as whiteboards or flip charts to help you explain the risk management process to your team. This can help you make sure everyone is on the same page and has a clear understanding of what is expected of them. You can also consider using risk management software or tools to help you communicate your risk management process to your team. These tools can help you visualize your risk management efforts and make it easier for your team to understand what is required of them. Another way to communicate your risk management process is to involve your team in regular meetings where you can discuss risk management plans and strategies. This can help you stay on track and make sure everyone is aware of any changes or updates to your risk management process. Finally, don't forget to celebrate your successes along the way. Regularly monitoring and evaluating the results of your risk management efforts can help you see the impact of your efforts and keep your team motivated. In conclusion, evaluating organizational processes, determining the scope for risk management, and communicating your risk management process to relevant stakeholders is key to establishing a successful risk management process. With the right approach and a focus on fun and engagement, you can minimize risk, improve efficiency, and achieve your risk management goals. So, let's get started and take your risk management process to the next level.